Ever since we started checking out mods a little bit more near the beginning of the year, I, I mean, it's not, it's not even close. Try create mod. I've seen it in the comments of the mod of videos. Have you ever played create? It's been said in the chat. I've seen it literally everywhere. And I mean, look with this observer. I can't lie. I, I think I'm in love. Yeah, so look, I know a thing or two about create. I don't exactly consider myself a professional. I have some experiments we'll run, but I do know for sure it's all about circles inside of Minecraft, right? Like circle, 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 and gigantic large circle right there. But upon doing a little bit more digging, I found out create is all about beautiful, loving machines as well. And oh boy, when it comes to machines and different components, for example, schematic cannon, for example, the clutch, for example, stress -o meter Stressometer, yeah, it sounds a whole lot more like how you say it. Anyway, rewinding a little bit, I knew I would eventually get around to checking out Create Mod, but that eventually sped up a whole lot just a couple of days ago when I saw this video from Batonage pop up inside of my feet. For the longest time, the beautiful mechanics of the Create Mod have been a Minecraft to Java exclusive. That is, until just a couple of days ago. So let's check this out. Inside of this chest right here, I've laid out a bunch of different mechanical components that I was able to find inside of this thing. However, there's a whole lot more. Inside of the inventory we scroll down, we have things like zinc ore and zinc block. I assume maybe you like make some of these components with that. We also have things like gold sheets, things like whisks, things like a beautiful brass hand. Like what in the world? Well, that's enough talkie talkie. Let's get into some of the experiments. For experiment to number one, I am very informed scientist. What I figure we could do is place a cog wheel on the wall like that, then place his hand crank on it like that, then interact with the hand crank and look at that thing. It's spinning, it's rotating. I think it's doing one quarter order rotation so it like goes from right up there over to there or something but yeah that's pretty good so far so good what if we add a second one and then go ahead and spin it and now multiple things are spinning around inside of the world but then wait there's more how about big wheel and oh look at the big wheel you can see that spinning happening even more on the big wheel if we go ahead and add a hand crank over here crank that thing crank this thing at the same time now we have some kind of like back and forth motion as we can see and it's kind of like well it's genius, really. So, so far, we've established that that definitely works. That's very cool. Let's go ahead and start over with a large cog wheel right there. Maybe a large cog wheel right there. We want to make sure they actually touch. And then maybe one more right there just to show off to check this out. If they're not touching or if they're touching too much. In fact, just diving into my scientist's bag, we cop it off with a couple more wheels and oh, hoo -hoo. and so just like that, like the mad adventure that I am, an idea struck me. What if I could say, take my magical wheel invention and <laughs> make it do something? Mechanical bearing. I'm not too sure exactly what this thing. However, the side, that little square, it appears as if I can connect a cog wheel to it. So perhaps, what if it may be? Mechanical bearing connects right there. I spin this. All right, a little embarrassing, but it's fine. I just work out some of the small kinks and it'll be working in no time. In the meantime, what if we say go ahead and work with a couple more wheels? It seems to be more my forte. As a small side note, a ton of this Create Mod stuff actually matches pretty much perfectly with the Tough Block set. Like, look at this wheel right there. It's like meant to be part of the Tough family. That looks so clean. So this one is really fascinating. This is one that I definitely remember checking out a little bit about years ago when I made my only other Create Mod video on the channel. If we have flowing water right here and then we put a water wheel in the mix, check this thing out. We could actually have this water wheel, like pick up that flow of the water and rotate. If I want to say, maybe go ahead and upgrade things at a larger scale. I don't know what it does, but go big or go home, right? Like then we got a giant water wheel and it's like rotating and it's so smooth. Like, I mean, on Java, it's smooth, but on Bedrock, this version of it, holy optimized and clean. All right, so the basis of my big machine is so far so good. It's working correctly. If I take my shaft and go ahead and place it against the water wheel, now I can basically like extend this thing outward. What if we say go ahead and duplicate it all and then take another large water wheel and put it in there? Now I've got not one, but two large water wheels spinning. It's pretty cool looking. Let's go ahead and take another shaft to place it right there. And then look at this, the cog. And oh, the cog automatically spins. Hey, and there's more though. Take note of that. It's spinning like pretty quickly over there. Now, if I go ahead and crank this, it spins like a little bit slower. I've got speed. There, place it right there. Now we got motion in different directions. It's pretty cool. Now, I believe what I could do is place this speedometer right down here and look at this thing. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. So I've just tracked my speed here. A default speedometer. If I go ahead and like place it down with no speed, it's all the way at the bottom. This speedometer is a little bit higher up right there. I think, I, I want to say, if I move it closer to the source, it gets a... 
All right, well, I should have thought about that. See, I thought this mod is, like, ultra-realistic, and there might be a little bit loss of, like, speed and energy the more complex my machine gets, but maybe I'm just not building it complex enough yet. So another cool one that I've noticed is something called the stressometer. If we go ahead and put a wrong wheel, we put the right wheel inside of the water right there, we've got the same machine spinning again. We'll go ahead and move it out this way and then grab the stressometer, this one right here, and connect it to it. And now we can see that this machine is under a apparently high stress. It's very stressed out. And while let's go ahead and check out my other contraption I built over here. And this one, it's under a little bit less stress over here. It seems like my machine over here was much more finely tuned if I interpret that all right. Now inside of this box over here, I've laid out a bunch of different components and I tried to kind of like organize them too, at least to my understanding. Up top, we've got wheels and we've got some useful things. For example, millstone, I think it's like a crafting station. Down here we have like things like chutes and kind of like gears and stuff like that, but then also belts over there too. Schematic cannon over there, that's like a weird thing and yeah, I made perhaps one of the greatest create mod discoveries of all time when I was just placing down these blocks and taking a look at them. After all, they're aesthetic and so like, it's like so similar to vanilla Minecraft, but at the same time, it's so different. Anyways, the big discovery that I made is a ton of these blocks are really cool looking. For example, the drill, the deployer, the fan block over there, very cool looking. However, on their own, when placed down, they don't inherently do anything at all. That all means the drill. If I want to try and plan on drilling anything, I need to connect it to something like a fancy machine that I've created right here. And now we can see very slowly the drill is rotating and look at what you can do with the drill. If I go ahead and move a block right in front of it, the drill. Yeah, that's good. It's working, right? The drill is really cool, but how about a fan? Look at that thing, and now the fan is actually blowing, and with the wind particles going right there, oh, oh, well, with the wind particles, if I drop an item inside of this thing, the fan actually blows things. If I could speed the fan up a little bit somehow, then it would blow things a little bit quicker. The mechanical saw, I'm not too sure exactly what it does, but it's definitely spinning. Running a little bit of tests only for science, of course, would never do this. I stand against the saw, and nothing happens. My knees are perfectly fine. All right, the fan has got to be one of the ones that I'm most obsessed with though right now because look at this thing You try and walk against the fan and you're just like blowing in the other direction. That is so cool looking Imagine something like that in vanilla Minecraft and with the wind charge that addition I feel like we're like not too far off, right? Like wind charge plus a dispenser, maybe new machine. Ah, that's so cool looking so, so far today, as you could probably pick up, I'm something of a create to mother professional If you enjoyed today's video and you'd like to see more of it again, tap a like and I'll make a part two all right, so for our next science trick here, I would like to take a look at this crazy looking contraption right here. As you can see, we've got a cog wheel connected to it, so theoretically I could like hook it up to one of my big machines, it's pretty cool. Then this model, the model is absolutely stunning and gorgeous, however, the functionality gets even better. So check this out, I've got an empty chest right there, and then over here I've got a full chest. I think if I interact with this thing with a wrench, then interact with a chest, okay, I'm doing it wrong. If my intuitions have led me correctly, I interact with this thing with the wrench initially. Then I interact with the block right there and... Oh, uh, of course. Chest full of diamonds, mechanical arm in the middle, empty chest right there. Take the wrench, interact with that, interact with this, interact with that. After that, we throw a motor right there. We put a cog wheel on top of the motor. Then we go ahead and set the speed to maybe something like three. And look at this thing. The arm right there, it works on its own. It will go into the chest, pick up a diamond block, and transport it all the way over to the new one. If we open this up and check it out, look at this thing. It works fast too. It takes stacks and stacks at the same time. Oh, it's so cool looking. How does this even work? What in the world is it doing? <laughs> this is crazy. This is Minecraft. What? Like, look at that. The locals, they even want to come and see my machine. The whole claw arm grabby grab situation is fascinating. It's very cool. But even more fascinating is this motor. We place it down, interact with it. Then we get a menu. I go ahead and crank that speed all the way up to 10. Reverse it, you. Why not? It's submitted. And now I've got a running motor. After that, right next to the machine, I put a cogwheel in, and I've got a working, real, living machine. And to now, check this out. You remember that slow speed from before? Well, no, get out of here. We've got maximum speed over here with this machine now, or stress. Whew, it's not stressed at all. No tension going on inside of this machine. We're clean and good. So this right here is where I fear our machine gets a little bit more serious. We go ahead and put this saw right next to it. I put a log next to it. What happens? Oh, no way! No way, it does do what I thought it would do. It breaks the log. Oh, that is so cool looking. 
Oh, that's amazing. Automate the tree farm. It's so cool. Wow, the create mod is so amazing. How about mechanical drill? Oh, that's dangerous looking. I need to. I need to check it out. In survival, I stand against it, and I'm fine. I'm valid. However, stone, I put it next to this thing, and I already know what's going to happen. Yes, it's going to mine the stone right there and rotten flesh you. What in the world? What is going on? It makes no sense, but it, it makes perfect sense at the same time. Oh, it's so cool looking. Hey, oh, but look, look at this thing. We put the fan right there, and now the fan, because it's reverse speed, is going to pull everything into it, which means an item, it rockets right against this fan. Then I could have like a, I don't know, like an area where items are dropping or something. Oh, yeah, leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, it, it keeps happening. I keep making the same mistake over and over again. Let's say I had an item in the way. You know, I could like pull it over and, and just drop it down and... Oh, no, it's amazing. Eh, because why not? On the flip side of the operation, we've got a drill situation happening where I'm like, maybe like cobblestone generator right here, and it's all just mining. I don't know where that rotten flesh keeps coming from, but as provocative, it doesn't matter. All right, look, I have a small confession to make. I'll admit it at this point. I'm not ashamed. I'm no create mod professional. I don't, I only know a thing or two about it. Literally, that's it. I know a thing or two about create mod. However, I do know that the machine of my dreams, this thing right here, the auto cobble the generator, this thing is automatically mining. I don't even need the van situation. Auto mine of the cobblestone. The hopper right below it just picks everything up. It's streamlined. It's seamless. It's easy. Oh, it's beautiful. I'm something of a genius. Create mod, the completely free add-on for Minecraft The Bedrock Edition, port it over. Every single link that you need in your life is down in the description. What do we think about the amazing possibilities of Create Mod on Bedrock? My patrons, Fire Dragon 19, Inverse MC, The Great Vegeta, Michael HCK, and Skelly Wampus, thank you so much. Smash that like button for a part two. Thank you for watching. This has been me, Waddles the Handsome Lad. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.